how does inflation really affect us financially? And I think if you don't have a secondary income that's significant, I think it's going to really affect people in a bad way. Because all of a sudden you're, you're losing four or $5,000 a year that you had in your pocket. Now you don't have it in your pocket for no other reason than inflation. You're not right. going crazy. You're not going on extra vacation. And you're going to have to figure out how to navigate that, right? You're going to have to figure out how to navigate that in your world. And what I like to do is say, okay, what does it do for us as real estate investors? And I got thinking, sadly, it will cause motivated sellers. Mm -hmm. It'll cause because because if someone can't afford their house, right? If they can't afford their house, then they're going to have to start thinking about how do I get the equity out of my house to get out of here. Maybe it's easier for them to go rent, or mm -hmm. they, or if they fall on. It, I guess it's not so bad unless you fall on hard times. So you get sick, you know, death, disease, divorce, mm -hmm. dilapidated house, it's it's deserted, it's vacant, you know, all those things that come into play. Suddenly the problem is exasperated. Just all of a sudden it's like, whoa, okay, wait a minute. This is I'm five hundred bucks a month less than I was making now. So money's getting tighter. Oh, and by the way, I just got sick and lost my job, or something happened. So all right. of a sudden right. they have to get out of the house. And we always talk about motivated sellers. And I, I don't know what your thoughts are. I think we're gonna see a lot more motivated sellers. Mm -hmm.